Hello guys, it's Martin from Million Miner and I'm back again with another mining unboxing video. In the last couple of months we've seen the rally on the Caspa blockchain, with manufacturers releasing newer and newer models, such as Bitmain releasing their KS3 and later the KS5 models, or Ice River releasing their KS3M and the smaller models such as KS1 or KS2. And now finally it's time for IBLink to enter the competition with their newest model IB Link BMKS Max. That's right, this new model comes with 10.5 terahash of K heavy hash mining hash rate and only consumes 3400 watts of electricity. This well balanced and powerful new miner will be the flagship unit for IB Link for the upcoming months or years. In this video, we're going to unbox the package as usual, show you guys how would you get your miner if you order from millionminer.com. We're going to check the package, the content, and we're gonna, of course, test the miner, see the hash rate and how it operates. So let's go. Okay, we just moved the miner to the mining room so you can hear my voice. Uh, let's set it up now. Uh, first thing first, you always need to identify the IP address. Uh, you can do that with a BTC tools that lets you scan your network and look for ASIC miners and their IP addresses. Or if you have some small home network, uh, then you can just copy from your client list somewhere in the router where you find it. So once you found it, uh, this is the IB link dashboard. Uh, you can already see that it's a bit more well designed than the previous dashboards. So it's either admin or IB link. Usually IB links come with IB link, IB link, but I assume the newer models should come with admin as password. So we'll try that and we are in. Okay, so uh, we can already see that it's a little bit more well designed dashboard than what we used to with IB link miners. Uh, let's see, we go to pool settings and inside pool settings, we're gonna set it up to our uh, our pool details so uh, you have pool 1 pool 2 and pool 3 for that which is going to uh, do pool 1 and I'm just gonna erase pool 2 and pool 3 details I don't want any of the any of the default I billing stuff if there's issue with pool 1 you can set up a different like hand pool for pool, pool 2 or, F, or uh, another pool for pool 3 so it will take over in case any of them doesn't doesn't work Config, do you want to apply the settings? The mine will be restarted soon after the confirmation. Yes, we do want. Operation is successful. Okay, lovely. We can already hear from the mining room that the miner is just restarted. Because All right, seems like we are back again. We just changed the pool details for the miner and the miner is restarted. So the program is starting right now. But at the meantime, we can check the settings because it's a new dashboard, so we need to know what's in there. Usual settings, so the wireless and wired settings, wireless obviously blocked because it's not a wireless miner, but it's good to see they have options. So possibly in the future, there will be wireless settings. Uh, so the usual settings, DHCP or static uh, for IP, but you can do that from your router. Let's say hashboard info section where you can see the chip uh, efficiency. Minus serial number seems like not read uh, automatically. Other settings, we still wait for miner to set up for that. Uh, logs, very nice to see that we finally have some good kernel here. We have an update section. Uh, here you can update the firmware's uh, password. You can change the password for the machine. So if you're not happy with the default one, change it. Um, restart application, you can restart the miner from here. 
or you can even reset to the to the factory settings uh, let's go back to the dashboard section we can also see the memory this is really nice so we can see the memory how much is it assigned what, what is free memory what is used memory and what is the cached memory so if there is memory issue with the miners like recently we've seen the ice river miners they had issues going idle because of the memory uh, memory issues it's really nice to see that they have some kind of if it's not even a memory management at least i know how much free memory my miner has and and if it's getting full like 10 percent 5 percent free i would reboot the miner but at least i see how uh, uh how much how much it has so basic information operating system linux um it's a linux ib link uh, uh, kernel version Software version 6.0.21. Uh, uh, uptime is two minutes. You have physical address, you have IP address, uh, etc. So basically, that's it. Really nice to see, guys, finally IBLink improving their dashboard. Uh, that's it. Thank you for watching this video, and I see you at the next one.